Hey, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Headbangers Kitchen. Oh shoot, I forgot to change my t-shirt. Oh man. <laughs> oh, well, that's okay. Doesn't matter. Hi everyone, good to see you all here. Welcome to Headbangers Kitchen live on YouTube. I am going to be cooking today. Um, I figure many of you, like myself, would be in quarantine right now or self-isolation or practicing social distancing in this time uh, that we are in in the world today. Um, crazy time. Uh, and as always, let me know which part of the world you're watching me from. Uh, in fact, let us know how the situation is where you live. It's Sunday morning here in Mumbai city and it's a very eerie silence. Um, if, if any of you have ever visited India and particularly Mumbai, you know it is one of the noisiest places. Yeah, it's just insane like every Sunday morning the beach outside my house is crazy with like people playing football and walking and jogging and screaming and shouting and today it's like silent by the way I've got my cup of black coffee with one drop of stevia headbangers kitchen keto all the way ah gotta love coffee all right, so let's get right into the cooking. Um, so if you read the title of this video, you saw that I'm cooking with four ingredients, or maybe five. But we got white fish, macadamia nuts, brown butter, and Parmesan cheese. So those are the ingredients. And these ingredients have been given to me by you, ladies and gentlemen. Hey Susan, thank you so much for the four dollars. Wow, and I was just going to get into that. So Susan has given four dollars to Headbangers Kitchen through the super chat function. And Susan, you're going to pick an ingredient for me to cook with on the next edition of my live cooking series. And that's actually how I get the ingredients. The first time I tried to do one of these cooking live streams, you know, some of you were so kind and you like gave money to the channel through the super chat and I thought you know I want to give something back so those who gave through the super chat were the ones who picked the ingredients for me uh, I don't know if you saw the previous one where I cooked with uh, pork ribs coffee chocolate and cherry tomatoes uh, that was again ingredients picked by people who were you know contributing through super chat wow Hey Karen, hi, how are you Karen? Thank you again so much for all the support. Karen, please give me an ingredient. So we've got one, in, one ingredient from Susan for next week and one ingredient from Karen for next week. So please, I look forward to your uh, ingredients. All right, so we got broccoli from Susan already for next week. Fabulous. So Karen, keep that in mind. I'm going to have to cook with broccoli already. I mean, you don't have to keep it in mind, but I'll work for it. <laughs> Leslie Haley has added in and she says dairy free is her choice. Okay, so that's not an ingredient, but it is enough information. So it will have to be dairy free unless, of course, somebody gives me dairy as an ingredient. That'll be interesting. Hey, hello. Hello, everyone. Hi. Thank you so much. So uh, I'm going to try and keep an eye, but let's get cooking, guys. All right, so one of the ingredients given to me was white fish, any white fish. So I was able to get tilapia from my supermarket, um, you know, and I've just cut it up into nice little perfect pieces. So that was one of the ingredients. The second ingredient was macadamia nuts. Now macadamia nuts are actually not available in India regularly. Like you can possibly find macadamia nuts in a high end shop and it costs a lot. But my wife got some macadamia nuts for me from home because uh, her father travels on business and at somewhere so on some trip he picked up some macadamia nuts. So I've got some lovely macadamia nuts here and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start toasting the macadamia nuts because 
I feel nuts. <laughs> I feel nuts. Ooh, cool, cool. Anyway, I feel nuts are best toasted. Like they have so much more flavor because the oils come out and they caramelize the nuts. So I'm going to just in a dry frying pan start to caramelize my macadamia nuts. Not my regular nuts, just the macadamia nuts. So I've got my pan here. I might as well toast all of them. So just turn the heat on. And now just toast them. <clears throat> right. So those are so fish, macadamia nuts, parmesan cheese is the other one. Again, very lucky a friend of mine from the UK got me some quality parmesan. So I'm going to be using the good stuff for this recipe. Of course, I could go to my local supermarket. Uh, there are some local brands that do parmesan as well. But obviously, the real parmesan is, is very different. Of course, this is the Waitrose parmesan. Uh, I'm not sure where it's actually produced, but technically it should be from the Parmesan region in Italy. But anyway, the quality of this cheese is way better than what we get in India because I think, if I'm not mistaken, oh no. Hmm. Anyway, enough jibber jabber. Waitrose Parmesan. And the final ingredient, ladies and gentlemen. All right, Karen has given me eggs. Thank you, Karen. You are too kind and too generous. Right. So the I'm going to have to replay this later and look for it. Also, okay, that's it. We haven't got anything extra. Fantastic. So uh, the fourth ingredient, ladies and gentlemen, is brown butter. So brown butter is just like the most delicious butter. Yes, so dairy-free eggs, broccoli. <laughs> you know what's coming. Uh, let me get some butter out. Now, I have this garlic and herb butters, butter available. So, why not brown this instead? Like, instead of using regular butter, and of course, you can use regular butter, but this is going to just make like life easier since I've managed to get this. Uh, it's a local brand, but I'm sure every country has its own uh, brand that does like brown butter. So I'm just gonna actually, what I'll do is I'm, I'm gonna make the whole thing into brown butter. Why not, right guys? And then I can just use this on anything and everything that I want. So on a low heat, this goes on the stove and we just let it brown. So let's get cracking ladies and gentlemen. Let's get the thank you low heat. By the way, this saucepan is, I think, forty years old. My parents got this from America, from the United States. Uh, I have cousins who live there. I can't, in fact, I can't even tell the brand because it's all like worn off. But I think it says J B. But yeah, these. These things my parents got from the US, the casserole dishes, these saucepans, 40 years they've lasted. Like, I feel like cookware these days doesn't last as long. You know, all the new stuff is not as like kick ass as the old, old stuff that was made. Like those were made to like last a lifetime. But yeah, so let's get the butter open. And the whole butter, that's a hundred grams of butter is going in there. In goes the butter. Let's throw the garbage away. Alright, what else do we have to do now? In fact, you're probably wondering what I am making. Oh, wait. Your nuts will burn if you don't pay attention to them. Oh, these smell really good already. The butter is melting. 
Alright, let's take you along with me. Whoops. This is the only problem is like... Gosh, ah, I need like a multiple camera setup. Alright, let's go check this out. Alright, so the nuts. So you can see they're starting to get some... Color on them there you can see a little bit of brown and the butter here is melting I'm gonna keep moving it so it doesn't uh, burn you know yeah lovely macadamia nuts you've got lovely butter and we've got the parmesan cheese here which I'm going to yeah that's good stuff and that's my coffee now I've got some parsley here and I've got half a zucchini. Meanwhile, yeah, keep an eye on those nuts. So I feel like these nuts are toasted enough. I feel like they don't need any more. Oh, watch this. this. Let me see if I can prop you guys somewhere else. It's a bit of a work in progress you know but yeah i think this is okay so i'm going to get the nuts off this off the stove for now yeah let's let's take the nuts out Do you need help? i think i'll be okay and i'm going to move the butter to this stove all right we've got toasty nuts you've got lovely garlic butter who's got toasty nuts <laughs> We got toasty nuts. Right, so yeah, it's... Uh, I mean, I know many of you don't have access to uh, a lot of things, but what is available in your supermarket like? And my wife, everyone says hello to my wife. Hi, yeah. Hi. Okay, I'm going to show you the butter. I really think people need to stop panic shopping. Oh, look, see, it starts to froth up. And now you just got to like, watch the color. Because it, it can go from brown butter to burnt butter very quickly. Ooh, look at that. Hi, Dipti. You want to come join us? Mm -hmm. I just want my coffee that you want to take. Take your coffee, no? Make your coffee. The camera is not on the coffee machine. My wife wants some more coffee. I can show you how we make coffee. It's a working Sunday, guys. Yeah, it's a working Sunday for her. So here we've got this lovely espresso machine. And we've got a jar where we keep our coffee powder. And of course, you got this to scoop and tamp. So that's happening. Oh, yeah. Watch my butter. Okay. It's slowly getting brown. That's the faucet. Because the coffee thing is being washed. Look at that butter. It's not yet brown. But it will be soon enough. Meanwhile, my wife will proceed to make her coffee. And I should not let go of the butter. Or should not. Yeah, don't. Yeah, this butter can go from... Well, you know what. So let me get a spoon out. So I can constantly check... Still, see, it's not br it's it's browning slowly, but it's not fully brown yet. Yeah. Oh man, the smell of brown butter is is exceptional. And this is garlic and herb brown butter because there are some garlic, I guess. Oh, that's the smell. Oh, it smells so good. Yeah, the garlic and the butter. Yum. That's the coffee machine meanwhile making a racket and look at how cute that mug is alphabet of dinosaurs that's a noisy machine though but let's not lose sight of the butter oh it smells so good i want to like drink it in my coffee cup butter coffee mm, brown butter coffee yeah brown butter coffee but still not brown no not fully it's frothing up now 
See, once it starts to froth up, it's getting browner, browner, browner. Oh, it's yeah. true, dinosaurs are amazing. Yes. Dinosaurs are amazing. And we got the butter browning right here. Eh, so you married her for her cute mug. <laughs> yep. The cute mug is a bonus. The cute mug is a bonus, she says. Actually, I married her because she's just awesome and like super smart. She's giving me dirty looks. That's also why I married her because I've never seen a more expressive face in my life. All right, the butter is browning. See, this takes a bit of time, guys. And you got to be patient and you got to work it. You know, you can't just leave it and go. Check it out. It's frothing up like... I know this is not keto, so everyone just shut your ears. But I want to just soak an entire loaf of bread in that and just eat the whole thing. Right. Look at the froth. It's amazing. It's like a beer head. It's like a head of beer. I think the butter has browned. Yeah, see, like it's browned, the butter, I think. How do I check? It's too frothy. <laughs> the old... Mm. Almost brown. Used to have a bigger pan, also, huge thank you to Lucy for the four nine nine. Uh, and honestly, like uh, Lucy, give us an ingredient because that's what you get for <laughs> contributing to Headbangers Kitchen via the super chat. Ooh, have we got Glenn Fricker in the house? What are you saying? That's insane. Is Glenn here? Oh man. Hey Glenn, how are you? Okay, the butter is brown. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a celebrity in the house, Glenn Fricker from Spectra Sound Studios. Uh, a very well-renowned and respected sound engineer. Uh, mixes and records bands and also does keto and has lost a lot of weight on keto. You should check out his channel definitely and I think our butter has browned, ladies and gentlemen. As my wife said, I have to blow into it to check, but I, I'll... Yep, that's brown enough for me. Okay, Lucy has given me beef, ground beef. Alright, folks. I'm gonna try and figure out this. <laughs> right. So, uh, yeah. All right, we're almost, almost done and ready. There are just two things more for me to do. But before I do that, I want to take a sip of my coffee, which is cold and needs 30 seconds in the microwave. Also, we have four ingredients now. No, we got broccoli was the first ingredient I was given. I remember somebody giving me dairy free eggs and now we got beef so egg beef broccoli and dairy free so those are four ingredients i've gotten for the next uh, live cooking session uh, so yeah that's interesting uh, i have already envisioned i'm already envisioning what i want to cook next week or the week after i'm curious should i do this every sunday Maybe I should do it every Sunday, but I should alternate uh, the time I do it so that, you know, even people in the UK and uh, uh, Europe can actually catch on because right now it's, um, what's the time? It's about 8.30 a.m. in Mumbai city. I think it's 8.30 p.m. in America, if I'm not mistaken, roughly like it's around like 8 or 9 or 10 in the night in America and it's 4 a.m. in, in uh, the United Kingdom, I guess. But yeah, so definitely I think I could I could uh, be live every weekend now. Um, I'll just figure out the second schedule. But yeah, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grate some of this Parmesan cheese. I'm going to grate. I'm going to put you guys actually at a position where it's a little easier to see me. So now I'm going to grate the Parmesan cheese and I'm going to chop the parsley because what we're going to do is we're going to um, 
crust the fish in parmesan and parsley actually there's one more thing i'll do before that so i'm going to serve my fish on a bed of zucchini noodles zoodles and i don't know how many of you know but you can also eat zucchini raw and actually given the choice i would prefer to eat zucchini raw because um it just doesn't get soggy it's got a bit of crunch and it's quite delicious so here's my spiralizer and i'm just going to actually spiralize this uh, zucchini in fact i should just actually cut the end off first hang on camera is on the left side of the phone ah yes i know but i'm just so used to looking up here when i should be looking down here oh wow hey fishing with bb thank you so much for the super chat uh, please give me an ingredient that you'd like to see me cook with that is super kind of you and my knife is super sharp so yeah in goes the uh, damn it you think this stuff is like less is not really complicated but why whoops all right let's spiralize this bad boy have you ever spiralized the zucchini that's my question to you ladies and gentlemen look at that spiralize spiralize spiralizing my zucchini fries well they're not fries but like it's zucchini spaghetti uh the knife is a jamie oliver knife but honestly the knife is very average it's only good because my wife sharpens it regularly uh i'm a lazy guy so i don't sharpen my knives but she does it for me most of the time but yeah check it out zucchini spiralize you know what i'm going to do right with this oh you you wait yeah so what i'm going to do is i'm going to spiralize my zucchini and just before serving it i'm going to toss it in the brown butter so you're going to have like a brown butter dressing almost on the zucchini I think that's enough zucchini. All. Whew. So work out guys. Ugh. And this is so I don't cut my hand trying to spiralize it. There. Well, that's more or less done. I'm 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 good with that. Whew. I'll just keep this away. And here we've got our beautifully spiralized zucchini. like spaghetti uh and also you will get the core of the zucchini so it comes out like this and this is your snack hmm smoke a zucchini or oops why you more the pass the zucchini man pass the zucchini me i eat the zucchini Yeah. Mm, yummy and refreshing. Anyway, I'm going to put the zucchini on a plate. So No, I'm not teaching anyone bad things. But yeah, zucchini which will be tossed in brown butter just before serving. Oh, it smells so good. That brown butter Yeah, I don't know if you can actually see it now, but you can see like the butter is fully brown. Check it out; it's like fully brown butter. Oh man, it smells like garlic bread in here. <laughs> That's insane. Where's my coffee? I realize I'm taking this quite slow. I should be cooking with far more urgency. But I feel if I just cook and I don't talk to you, it's very boring, right? I mean, I prefer talking to you guys. Yes, Dipti is very pretty. Now, ladies and gentlemen, time for some parsley. So, I'm going to get some parsley out, a nice generous amount of parsley. And now, I don't know if you want to watch me chop it because I'm terrible at chopping. Actually, maybe I should get rid of the parsley stems first. So, I'll put you guys back up to the vantage point. Oops. All right. I think you can see me now, yeah. Here I am, rock you like a hurricane. All right, so I'm not going to throw the stems then since you said it was let's just 
cut that block uh, the parsley and you really want to finely chop it and this is why you need a good sharp knife so you can see you really want to like get in there get in with the parsley man chop it get in there ladies and gentlemen really finely chop it finely chop that parsley Finely chopped parsley, still finer. Keep chopping, ladies and gentlemen. Chop that parsley till it's. I should have done this off camera before. I think. Should I chop the parsley anymore? Put your entire body into it. Ladies and gentlemen, okay, I think that's fine enough. Nice. So we've got our chopped parsley. Whew! Exhausting. It's like a workout this morning. You made this. You made into seeds now. <laughs> yeah, it's so it's basically like a breadcrumb for parsley. Thank you, Karen, for the kind words. All right, let's get cracking. Let's get a plate. Let's put that parsley on the plate. Whoops. All right, guys. So I'm having a bit of a thought now. So here's the thing. I need you to help me with this dilemma right now. We're going to do a poll because so my idea was to crust the fish in Parmesan and parsley. Both. But now I'm thinking maybe I won't crust the fish in the Parmesan. Because it's one, it's very good Parmesan cheese and I don't want to waste any of the Parmesan cheese. So I'm thinking, you know, if parsley goes to waste, it's okay. But I'm just thinking in terms of Parmesan cheese, maybe I should just shave some of it off so I can eat it and actually get the taste of the Parmesan rather than grate it and make it like the crust for the fish. I don't know. I, I, I'm just looking for a little bit of, uh, you know. Yeah, so you all think I should just shave it and like, you know, more like garnish rather than sort of grate the whole lot of it and then coat the fish and then the parmesan gets crispy in the pan and it could get burnt. All right. I think everyone's going with shaved. Yes. So if you think I should shave the parmesan, say shaved. If you think I should crust the fish with the parmesan, say crust. Shaved. All right, let's see that. Let's see those votes, ladies and gentlemen. Shaved or crust? And right now the shave is winning. Very few people have gone in for the crust. Only one crust. Shaved. Everyone is for the shaved. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Hmm. 
All right, I think shaved has won. Let's go with the shaved. Um, all right, let's get let's get cracking then on the fish now, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. Oh, this brown butter smells so good. All right, let's get our pan back. We've got our parsley here. We've got our fish here. So I'm just lightly going to season the fish with uh, salt and pepper. Nothing fancy. Just a little salt. A little bit of pepper. Let's see if we can add something else to the fish. And a little bit of paprika. I think that's good. Uh, the fish I'm using is tilapia. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> Uh, tilapia fillets and as you can see the sun has just is coming in on me get that vitamin D not really guys don't fall for that all right let's get the pan on I'm wondering if I should be dredging the fish in uh, in egg Hmm. Or will the parsley adhere to the fish? Let's have a look. Hey, what do you know? It's stuck. There you go. Parsley crusted fish. Look, it worked without the egg. That's cool. I'm gonna make sure get some oil in the pan. So for cooking, <clears throat> so for cooking and pan frying, I normally just use avocado oil. Now uh, it's really delicious and 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 really good. It it goes to a high heat without getting uh, oxid whatever that thing is that happens to it. So let's. Put a little bit of oil in the pan. And yeah, let's wait for the oil to heat up and then we're going to fry that fish. The lovely fillet of fish. Just press the Parsley down into the fish. Okay, you don't want it ripping hot because you do want it to not burn. Meanwhile, let's coat another piece of fish as well. This, I think two fillets I'll cook up. That should be enough. I'll cook these later. Wash my hands. All right, excellent. Can you see the pan? You can, right? Ah, you can. Uh, show you the fish frying. Whoa! All right, we got that fish frying. I'm gonna see if I can. See if 
try again. There you go. So there's fish here flying. Now I'm just going to flip the fish. Oh, look at that beautiful. And now I'm going to take this brown butter. I'm going to baste the fish with it. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about ladies and gentlemen. That brown butter and you baste the fish in that brown butter. Smell the aroma. And remember this fish doesn't take time to cook. It's very quick. We'll get another plate out. A lot of plates this morning. Now this piece is super thin so it's already done. So I'm going to actually remove this. And just give this about a minute more. Oh yeah. How good does that look ladies and gentlemen? You know what? I'm suddenly feeling like I want to toss the zucchini noodles in the frying pan. So I'm actually going to do that. So pour in some brown butter, toss the zucchini noodles and yeah, let's do that. So this is, I think, done as well. Just gonna take the zucchini noodles. Quick. I'm gonna pour some brown butter on them. Little black pepper. And a little bit of salt. Just and turn the heat off. That's it. Just done. Just a really super, super simple, super simple way to do it. <laughs> so yeah, now uh, I think it's time to kind of get the plate together. Oh, the macadamia nuts. All right. Let's let's still work to do, guys. Hang on. <laughs> I really need like a multiple camera setup. So I'm just going to rinse out my board. My cutting board because it's filled with parsley. Give it a rinse. Awesome. Give it a wipe down. Clean. Everything has to be clean, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> Alright, so what are we going to do with the macadamia nuts? It's time to crush the nuts. No man ever wants to hear the words, it's time to crush the nuts. But let's crush the nuts, ladies and gentlemen. Right, check it out. So I've got my mortar and pestle. You can see it now. And we're just going to take some of the nuts. Few of them, we don't need all of them. And you can just pound them. Whoops. Whoa! Dropped a nut. Okay, these don't crush as easily as I thought. Just crush those nuts. You just don't want any big pieces. You want it like a... Like a snow. Like a macadamia nut snow. Okay, there. That, that's working. That's better. Perfect. 
Okay, I think that should be enough. Now look at that. That's enough. All right, let's put this away. What next? I think only thing left is the Parmesan cheese. So I think we could actually plate up this dish, guys. So again, I got to get my fancy plate. So I picked these up in Bangkok on a trip, perfect for plating. So I don't know if you can see it. Let's, let's try and get you guys in a better position. Hold on. Aha. There you are. I also need to open the Parmesan cheese. Need to. Oh yeah. Look at that. Oh, look at that Parmesan cheese. Smells good. Obviously got to, you know, do a customary shave off. Whoops. Mmm. Oh man. Oh, that's good Parmesan. I'm glad I didn't trust the fish in this Parmesan. Oh, it's tangy. Mmm. So good. Let's plate guys. First in go the zoodles and you want to sp spoon some of that brown butter on top oh yeah be generous then you wanna add some of those macadamias for a bit of texture and then you want to place your fish on top of that and then some macadamia snow on top of that fish And then shave the parmesan. Not on the fish, but like around the plate. Oh yeah, how good. I'm eating that. Mm. Shave a little bit. And that's it folks. Check it out. It's done. Our fish, brown butter, macadamia nuts, parmesan cheese. Here it is. How good does that look? Tell me that's not a good looking dish. Taste test you say. Let's get the camera. Whoops. You want a taste test I believe. Let's see where I can place you. Whew. So now I'm not going to touch that plate because uh, I want to photograph that and I'll put the recipe up on headbangerskitchen.com so just in case you didn't know there's a website called headbangerskitchen.com where you get all the written recipes with macros and everything um, 
but I will taste of course I will taste from the second fillet I cooked and I will sprinkle some of this macadamia crumb on it yeah now spoon over a little brown butter oh yeah and I've got one piece of zucchini mm. well, let's taste the fish guys oh wow okay check this out perfectly cooked white fish look at that beautifully cooked look at that perfectly cooked the piece, the piece of fish is like it's it's just perfect guys look at that anyway let's dig in oh <laughs> oh wow that is so good guys mm. and it's fresh and I want some more of the macadamia the macadamia gives it like this beautiful sweetness yeah it's a juicy fish let's get some of the macadamia with it as well mm. oh and the mm. oh man mm. <laughs> that butter Oh, wow by the way it's um, 9 a.m. in the morning this would have been my I guess it's my breakfast um, I'm actually gonna get some parmesan on this where's that parmesan let me shave a little parmesan on this oh yeah now we're talking so let's get a piece of fish with the macadamia and the parmesan. Okay, that's a mouthful. Mm. Oh. Mm, mm, mm. oh man. Oh. <laughs> that is some cheesy nutty goodness. And I've eaten almost a full piece of fish in the morning. Mm. Oh man. And the fish itself is not bad. Like tilapia gets a pretty bad wrap. But this is not bad at all. I am a happy camper ladies and gentlemen. I don't know about you. But I am happy with that dish. I hope you were too. I am just going to wash my hands now. I think the rest of my family has woken up. And they want to make their coffee in the kitchen now. So it's time for me to, to leave the kitchen, but uh, I don't have to leave you. Let's get some Parmesan cheese. Mm. Now, I've got a little bit of coffee left. So what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to heat my coffee. And I'm going to spend a few minutes with you wonderful people. Just chatting about anything you want to talk, talk about. And then once I'm done, I'll photograph that plate of food. And yeah, I'm excited. This recipe turned out like I was so confused. Like I was really racking my brains. Like what can I make with macadamias, parmesan, fish and brown butter? And then, well, thankfully this happened. So of course, thank you for all your advice. Uh, Dad, the kitchen is now free for your... Because yeah, everyone needs to make their coffee and... Um... Oh, wife is under. Are you watching me? And on the phone. Oh, wa hold on. <laughs> I'm, I'm live on my... It's a live-ception. It's a live-ception. Let's mute the volume though. Whew. All right, ladies and gentlemen. 
as you can see it's a beautiful day it's amazing the beach is dead there's oops no one on the beach <sighs> no one tells you what a workout cooking is I am very lucky to have this view. I will I will definitely say that. All right. Is India under quarantine? Yes, uh, kind of. Not all parts of India, but well most of India is under quarantine. Uh, we've been told to stay in quarantine just for today. But uh, my state has basically said, yeah, don't get out of the house unless you absolutely need to they've shut off a lot of things all restaurants bars everything has been told to close down so yeah we are in quarantine so to speak yes yeah now i have to clean up after this oh clean up the kitchen will be fun oh damn that's awful sorry to hear that justin can I ask what is the best way to cook zoodles? So I personally just like to do what I just did that flash fry like literally 30 seconds in the pan or what you can do is you can salt the zoodles leave them for 30 minutes squeeze out the water and then pan fry them again those are the two ways I cook them those are my ways of cooking zucchini noodles been three days off keto because nothing but junk food on shelves listen guys yeah you know what i do want to tell you all one thing i mean i'll probably post something about this anyway but given the situation we are in i mean i don't think anyone should feel pressured to be on keto you know the only thing i would say is don't binge eat like or don't stress eat if possible but if you if you have to go off keto for this period it's okay you know uh, I've said this before in many videos your fitness journey is for life so you don't need to kind of break your head over it like okay so you'll be off keto for a little bit unless you're diabetic or something which is a totally different story but you know what if you can't be keto that's fine that's okay that doesn't mean you're suddenly going to bloat up and put on tons of weight uh, you can always work out at home because we all have the option of doing like HIIT workouts. Uh, some of us may be lucky enough to own dumbbells so we can do some weights as well. But long story short, don't let, um, don't let this situation disrupt your journey in a bad way. Like, okay, so you are not on keto. You are eating things because nothing else is available. But you can still manage and you can absolutely... You know make this into a positive situation you know like calories do matter so if you're not stocked up just make sure you're not overeating you're not going crazy you know especially because we know with with a lot of snacky food we tend to overeat but yeah if you've reached in a position where you where you can't get your keto stuff regularly if you need to eat some bread because think of it this way like it may be easier for you to buy flour and stuff and to make bread at home. I don't know. Worst case was because everything is getting affected slowly, slowly. So yeah, just do what you can help each other out. I mean, we got to be, we got to be our own saviors, I guess, so to speak. What do you do to find peace during your day? Well, for me, honestly, most of my peace comes from having a wonderful family. And I have my music, which is always is is just peace. Like if I get very angry, especially when it comes to things, I always have a drum set that I can go and beat the crap out of. And it really is a great release of energy. So is exercise. So if you're really ever feeling angry, just exercise. Vicky, that's awesome. Uh, always good to make your own stuff when you can, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, to be honest, uh, I'm also quite a bit of a homeboy. So for me, nothing has changed. 
the only thing i am not doing today that i was doing before the quarantine was going to the supermarket but otherwise my life is not changed at all would switch of the weeping well you know honestly it's it's probably better that they are with you now um uh, it's i mean if you're going to be quarantined you might as well be with your family uh, of course yeah you know we sometimes some of us have never been with our families for so long and suddenly you know you start to get annoyed with each other but you always realize that there's a lot more at stake now so it's a small little thing i live in bombay city or as it's known as now mumbai city Thank you Coral so much I'm really glad uh you got the book and yes I will definitely uh at some point do another book and Coral you can also print the recipes out from the website don't forget about that Can you talk more about brown butter and the other uses for it uh, Absolutely I would love to talk about that I'm so glad people are not asking the standard keto questions that they normally ask Uh so yeah brown butter is in my books a great flavor enhancer so sorry i think there's an internet connection problem hey 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 testing uh testing can you hear me can you hear me i feel like you can hear me can i hear myself Can I hear myself? Okay, I can hear myself. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, so brown butter. I've got a recipe for cookies and chocolate chip muffins. Both use brown butter. Um, also for seafood, like I just used, uh, fantastic. You can uh, also use it on steaks. You can make your hollandaise or your bernese sauce with brown butter instead of um, regular butter. and it will always add a nutty rich taste to it so that's my two cents on brown butter all right folks i've been on for 58 minutes so i'm going to be online for 2 minutes more so if you have any questions feel free to ask me your questions now let me know i think we've already got all the ingredients for the next week of cooking if i can find it in my supermarket we got broccoli we got eggs we got beef and we got uh, non dairy four things and these are from all the people who uh, contributed through super chat so thank you guys so much i really appreciate it and i will make sure that you know that money gets put to good use of course you know like buying the ingredients and uh, obviously contributing to different things that i feel are important can i use can you use salmon in the recipe that you used today Yes absolutely any fish will do literally any fillet of fish can be used in today's recipe Thank you so much Karen very kind of you What's your next dish that you are excited to make <coughs> Um I don't know this um, this whole situation has turned everything on its head so right now I'm just I'm not even thinking about cooking actually like I should be planning my next recipe but I don't know maybe some Thai dish I'd be really excited to make or maybe smash burgers I love smash burgers non dairy fish curry uh, I've already done a non dairy fish curry actually in fact that was the last fish curry I did Uh let me actually share that with you keto fish curry. Yep, okay, I'm just going to share the link with you. Yep. There you go. Smash burgers are just really thin beef burgers. Uh you smash the patty in the fry in the uh, skillet. All right, so there's the non non dairy fish curry that you were looking for. 
I love smash burgers. Mm. Anyway, folks, I think I've been here now for 60 minutes, so it's time for me to say bye bye. But thank you all for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this live stream. I will do another one next weekend. I'll share the link with you once again to join me and enjoy the live stream. And yeah, take care everybody. Have a great day and stay safe everyone. Don't panic shop and don't forget you can wash your bum with a bidet or a jet spray. You don't need toilet paper. So if the toilet paper runs out, don't stress. Alright, bye. Take care.